Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. We're learning more about access by going through the Northwind Traders sample database. In the previous screencast, we talked about this calculated data type and how I prefer to make my calculations in a query and then use that query as the source of that calculation anywhere else it might be needed in the database on any other queries, forms, or reports. The main thing to get out of that is that we want to create our calculations one and only one place so that if the calculation changes, we can change it in that one query and have it update throughout the database. Another new feature that you might be curious about in the Northwind tables are these last four fields, the description of which is filled in by a data macro. And it's the added by, added on, modified by, and modified on fields, two of which are date times, two of which are short text fields. In other words, that data in those fields is going to automatically be filled in by a data macro. So let's see those four fields in action. When I enter a new record, I'm going to put in Mia Perez. There's our calculated fields, and let's give her a title of professor. As soon as I've entered her record, those last four fields, added by, added on, modified by, and modified on, are automatically filled in. So it's telling me who added the record, when it was added, if it was modified, who modified it based on when you log into that initial login screen on startup, and the date it was modified. So that is a great audit record on your important tables. In fact, Northwind has those four fields added by, added on, modified by, and modified on on several of their tables. If I look at customers and design view, I see those same four field names. I believe it's on order details. Yes, the same four field names. The orders table, the same last four field names, and I believe it's even in the products table. Yes. And let's check order status, and it's also on the order status table. So those four fields have been added in the exact same way to six different tables. So instead of creating these exact same data macros on each of these tables, in the Northwind database, what's happening is these data macros are added on startup. And I'm going to go over to the access modules and look at this mod table data macro. And when I get into design view and scroll down a bit, I can find add data macros, which runs when the database starts up. And whether you can read and write VBA or not, can read the comments, which are in green, and you can kind of pick through the code and see what's happening, even if you couldn't create it yourself. And so basically, it's just saying for every table in this entire database, if you have these four fields added by, added on, modified by, and modified on, then it's creating this data macro. And it's filling in some data based on who has logged in to the database at that point in time and what the current date and time is. So this is an amazing thing that these data macros are added with one function instead of adding four data macros to each of those six tables. If you've watched this whole playlist, you know that certain things happen on startup and some of that code is stored in the mod startup module. If I go into design view and I look for that startup function, which I know runs when the database starts, then I can find that add data macros subroutine statement right here on line 40 that runs the add data macros sub that is stored in mod table data macro right there. Now, if you were starting and you just wanted to build a simple data macro on a table, you would open it up in design view, go to create data macros. And there's your one, two, three, four, five different events upon which you can add a macro. That's how you would add a data macro to an individual table. If you're in datasheet view and you go to the table tab and click on named macro and then rename delete macro, it will tell you here are the one, two, three, four, five, six tables that have data macros already connected to them and also what event that data macro is attached to. Data macros are another feature that is unique to access, but very valuable for auditing purposes as shown by the Northwind Traders database. Thank you.